On August 1st, 2015, Rush called it quits. That was their last show of the R40 tour. The R40 tour almost didn't happen. Neil Peart was the more reluctant of the three to actually go out one more time. I think he felt that the Clockwork Angels tour, uh, which I believe ended in 2012, 2013, something like that. He felt that that was the end right there. But the other band members convinced him to go out one more time to celebrate 40 years of Rush music. And so he did. There were a few shows. And now we have the very famous ending where contrary to everything that had happened previously to that, there was not a single show where Neil Peart got off his drum kit and went to the front of the stage. He always would leave the stage right after the show, after maybe saying a few goodbyes. But this time, he rushed to the front and said goodbye with Alex and Getty to all of the fans forever. A lot of fans were wondering if the band would continue, if they would put out new material and things be as they always were. They would take a break and they would refresh their batteries and then come back. But my feeling was a little different. When they finished that show, I was not at the show. I was, I did go to uh, the Alfreda, Georgia show, which is a, a city north of Atlanta. I went to that show with my, with my son and a really good friend of mine. And after that tour, I thought, okay, Rush, you're done. I don't even, I don't even want to see you anymore. <laughs> I was like, okay, these guys were in their early 60s and they really put on a clinic as to how a, a band with members of that age could perform. There was really n no other band that I know of that at that age could rock that hard. And not only rock that hard, but Giddy would still be able to sing all of the notes or mostly all of the notes that he sang as a young man, uh, even though he struggled at times, but he did do it. Neil figured out his part so that he could play, play them all even at his age because he was a very aggressive and articulate drummer. And Alex, was a, what has been said about, what he has said about the health of his fingers and what he goes through, the fact that the three of them could pull off yet another tour in their early 60s was a miracle in and of itself. So when they finished that tour, I was like, okay guys, you're done. I mean, I was okay with never seeing them play anything ever again. Not even uh, get together to do, you know, these two or three night stands in Las Vegas, or like house residency or anything like that, even though they'd be in one place. But again, it would be like touring because they'd be without their families because their families didn't live in Las Vegas. So I was, I was of the thinking of, okay, they're done. I'm very happy for them. They deserve to just go off in the sunset. Uh, but there were, there were fans who like really wanted them to get back together. I was just not one of them. I, you know, when they finished, I was more, you know, it was a, a part of my life that just stopped abruptly. Just something that wasn't there anymore. And it's not that they took away time from other things that I did, but they were so much a part of my life. And many Rush fans can relate to this that, you know, I was okay with doing other things and not even listening to the music. I actually started listening to other music, uh, other genres of music that, you know, Rush occupied so much of my uh, musical time. And it's not a bad investment in time because you still learned a lot, not only from them as a rock band, but also how they incorporated other styles of music into what they played, even rap. I mean, not that Neil Peart or Getty Lee is a is a rapper, but they even threw that in and roll the bones. I mean, who would have But in any case, I was happy that they were done. And it kind of irked me a little bit that they were fans that who still wanted them to continue on. And I was like, you know, they're done. We don't need to see it anymore. Um, I was very happy and content with how they left. And they really put, they showed the music industry how to finish a career. I don't think anybody, uh, any other band finished a career like they did. Right at the top. Still able to play all of their music and making sure that they would always be the ones that covered their songs the best. Better than any cover band, no matter how old or young they were. Still, these three guys still played Rush music the best, even at that age. So then I started reflecting on, you know, what did the band teach me? What life lessons? Not so much life lessons, because obviously 
you know, we all have people close to us that, you know, we look for guidance because we respect them, we know them. And as much as Rush fans want to say that they know the band members, <laughs> I mean, if you've not met them personally and if you've not had interaction with them, you really don't know them. Although everything they presented about themselves and still do present about themselves to this day uh, just makes you love the guys because they're, they're really very personable and always willing to shake your hand and when we can shake hands and you know give an autograph whatever they're just that those type of guys so um, you do feel like you have a connection with them obviously through their music there's a, a beautiful connection uh, to the members of the band one of the things that the band taught me was not to look back you put your all into something you give it your all you do the best you can and then you move on to the next thing how many times did we did people uh, ask them what your favorite album was or whatever and they would always say the most recent one they never looked back they didn't it's almost like they didn't care they did pay particular attention to when they put, put their set list together for tours that was more obviously they, they played their new stuff and that's what they mo were most excited about but they obviously knew that the fans were always wanted to see you know the stuff they've always played so they tried to be as accommodating as possible but the fact that they just never looked back they were always looking forward they always were looking at what could we do next and that's why no album is the same every album subsequently was significantly different than the previous album that's why there are 20 albums it, such the studio albums there's so much variety there for all different types of moods and that's because they just never looked back they didn't do anything based on what they previously did everything they did was trying to create something new and that made for a potpourri of variety uh, in their music. Another thing I learned from Rush's musicianship is their commitment to commitment. Um, they were so committed to doing their best at every show, on every tour, and we've heard at, about times when they've been sick or they've been injured. Uh, even on the last tour, Neil uh, had some severe fo foot infections and we know about uh, Al Alex's psoriasis and and other things that they're that they suffered they still put on the shows. They were committed. I don't remember shows being canceled. Um, there may have been, but it probably was not their fault uh, because they really were a committed band. So that's something that they taught me as an individual is that you make a commitment, stick to it, because that will, you will reap benefits from, from that commitment that you show to people because they trust, they'll trust you they'll expect nothing but the best from you because that's what you give to them and you end up getting people's respect which is definitely something that rush has earned another thing that rush's musicianship taught me over the years is to never ever rest on your laurels always strive to do better don't think that just because you played so good uh previously you can carry that same level you always want to be better here's a clip of getty lee talking just about that The nature of Rush has always been musicianship first. Just has. We always tried to be the best musicians we could and we tried to challenge each other. And I don't think that's really changed. I mean, a lot has changed. Obviously, we've become much better songwriters and, and song arrangers and producers and all those things have taken a more and more important role through the years. So that shows your growth and your expanding, but at the core of it, we're players, we love to play, and we love to play well. I expect myself to play well, and I expect myself to play better, and to do something better than I did last time. And that is a natural part of Rush. It's a natural thing that Alex, Neil, and I share. We want to do things better. That's what drives us. That's always what's driven us. Another thing the band taught us is never take anything for granted. You never know what things you're gonna have today, uh, versus what you're gonna have tomorrow. They definitely experienced that and over the years uh, We've seen how they've gone through certain situations in their life and how they surpassed it and I think it's because they didn't take things for granted. They always Wanted to do better. They always Appreciated what they had and they always talked about that the things that were most important to them not what they looked like or what they were wearing or even the friends that people thought they should hang out with they had their friends 
and what was most important to them was at least from a public perspective the music and because they didn't take that for granted they always put out their best every day another thing that the band taught us through their musicianship is that friendship is the key and we've seen how many bands break up because of disagreements because of petty things a whole bunch of different things but Rush's friendship kept them bonded and kept them through the good and bad times throughout the whole career the music was always there yes there were times where there were like longer gaps but they always came back I was asked recently about what what keeps me into Rush or what kept me into Rush after I learned about them when I was a little kid is that they always put out something new like they always came up with something new there was like there was always Rush, there was always new Rush and the reason why they were able to do that is because of their strong friendship because they agreed on a lot of things and whatever they dis they disagreed on they never ganged up on each other they just agreed to disagree or just everybody agreed and kept moving on so we the fans were the beneficiaries of that because we got 40 years plus of awesome music so on this day the six year anniversary of Rush's last show, I wanted to just put out a little video, kind of like as a tribute to the band that I didn't get to do last year because this channel didn't exist. I personally want to thank the band for all of that incredible endurance that they had to be able to put out all that music, such complexity, such nuance, and such dedication and intent throughout all the years of the band. And when, like I said, when they finished it off, August 1st, 2015, and that was their last show, I was happy for them. I, did, I never needed them to do anything ever again. And of course, if Alex or Getty do anything, whether together or individually, I'll look forward to it and I'll be happy for them as well. Thank you, Alex and Getty, for all of the music that you gave us and we wish you nothing but the best for whatever you decide to do.